it is sunset. I am back, at least for a moment, on the West Coast, enjoying the sunset. No music right now, but the sound of the ocean is pretty damn sweet. And I wanted to, one, say, uh, I made it. I survived Burning Man. Hopefully you did too. And I'm, I'm, I can't believe it is already over, and yet it has just begun. And that is one of the reasons why uh, I wanted to talk about doing this decompression and integration group, because the transition from that to this is hard. But it's made easier if you know that that to this will be that again. And what I want to do is get people together and to share what we're going through, share things that are working, share things that we're struggling with, remind each other, commit to the places that we've seen of ourselves, the places that we want to go. And so there's going to be a weekly call, assignments, daily check-ins. Uh, right now, if you sign up before we start, it's 97 bucks. What? Everything you do is free, Halcyon. I know, but I need commitment. I need people to say, I want to do this. I want to be better. I want to make my ripples felt in the world. Not, yeah, maybe I'll click, maybe I'll tune in, which is great, hey, maybe I'll tune in. Great, that's great. But I want warriors. I want our ripples to change the world. And the power and the impact and the, the inspiration that is in us after the burn is so powerful. And every day that the default world is weighing us down and softening those sharp edges of warrior blade, maybe that's too violent. But my point is, when you have a supportive city, you blossom. Let's keep supporting each other and find ways to integrate, to bring that to here so that we can bring here to there, so that we can bring us to that, to this. You are the medicine the world needs. And I, you feel that when you're there and we stifle too much when we're here and we're going to help each other get there. So, um, I was trying to do all sorts of paperworky stuff and organize things and contact the people that have already signed up and I realized the sun was setting and it was getting too late and I was like, I just got to do this. I got to get online and tell people. So, um, whoa, uh, already have a, Michael said, just got out of jail was able to inspire people while there. Well, that is the kind of stories that we want to share with each other. That is the kind of uh, reminders that we want to get. One, I mean, the, I don't know if anyone saw me crying the other night on Facebook Live, but a huge reminder for me is that the fact that we get to oppor the opportunity to experience Burning Man that we get to see the potential of humanity in ourselves, that is so rare. It is so rare in the world, in the history of humanity, that our obligation is to now, when the world puts this discomfort upon us, puts this awkwardness, makes us feel like we're silly or weird or whatever, we owe it to the world because of the gift we've been given of this opportunity to face that judgment. And if we can do it together, like we do it when we're there, it's easier. Not easy, easier. If it was easy, it wouldn't be a warrior path and it wouldn't be the thing that gives you that sense of purpose and power and strength and that's why I'm here. So that is what I want to get us together to do. 
Do I know exactly what it's going to be? No. Nope. What have I learned from Burning Man? Surrender, flow, trust. But I know that if we can take what the momentum of that together, commit to being that in the world, and I'll give you exercises and ideas that I've thought about for the last 22 years, and ask for suggestions and ideas from you too, and if we can help each other, I know we can make a difference. So I'm asking, if you wanna be a part of this, there is a group that is linked here, it's the Decompression Integration Group, there's a link there to sign up for the $97 fee, it's gonna go up a little bit once we start, you can start at any time, we're gonna record the calls, First one is tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific. 4 p.m. Pacific, we are going to start this thing. Or should I just say continue this thing? Chicka 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 Boom! Emma says, I haven't been in the man, but do this work. That's an excellent point. I was, Burning Man is, is simply a catalyst. You don't have to go to Burning Man for this. You don't, it is, it is simply, Burning Man is, is the, the, the light that draws the moss so that we can have the swarm. Now we're trying to get the swarm going, but if you are in the swarm, if you feel the heat, join us, help each other, we can do this. Rihanna saying, I have two big regrets from my burn and having a really hard time processing them. It's, it's pretty common to be focused on the, the crap after so much comb. That was my experience right after the burn too. I, I was like, wow, I, I am so much of my mental energy after being so peaked out in, in experiences and ideas and conversations. And, it's, and then after it was over, so many of my conversations and so many of the things that I was pulled into was about criticism and regret and things I could do better. And I'm really trying to, and I think one of the things that we're gonna be talking about over the next 30 days is, good. The whole point of Burning Man is it's iterative. You build it, you learn, you do better. If something doesn't work, you don't have to feel regret, you don't have to feel guilt, you just go, okay, cool, I'm gonna do better next time. This is a work in progress. You are a work in progress. Your camp is a work in progress. Your outfit is a work in progress. Burning Man is a work in progress. And my leadership is a work in progress. So when someone is critical of something I've done, I go, oh, my instinct is, oh, I suck. No. Ah. Next year when I get to build this camp, next year when I get to do this, next time I get to try this, I can, or I can also go, huh, not so sure if that feedback's, mm, nope, nope. That's, I hear you, and I don't think this is the right team camp for you. I don't think, you're looking for death kill. This criticism does not apply to me. Let's see, I'm looking at some other comments. Uh, hi, Darla. Hi, Leslie and Miriam. Jeannie is stranded for four days. Oh my goodness. Oh, looking for a tow truck driver. Wait. Oh, you did find somebody, an amazing burner who drove all the way back from Carson City to help you out. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. And what a bummer. Stephen asking, 
What did you think of the art being defaced and vandalized this year? The big issue at Barbie death camp. The issue is starting to go viral. Newbies who don't understand what it is to be a burner cause much harm and hatred. Okay, honestly, I, I have, am not informed on the Barbie uh, death camp situation. Um, as far as art being defaced and vandalized, that was an issue last year too. And it's kind of unbelievable and shocking uh, that people would 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 think there is any place for destruction i guess maybe maybe they're you know in 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 in, the, in total freedom one of the impulses is violence and destruction i mean i can go how could people want to do death guild and fight each other well people do how can people want to destroy things but they hopefully you find a way to do it uh Constructively, my friend Crystal's camp, they had a camp that they were, they made things out of clay all week and then they had a destruction party where they, they, they broke it all on the last day. But, um, I mean, I think acculturation is something that we, that we in, in many directions, we keep have, gonna have to keep getting better and better at to, to fight things like vandalism and, and uh, Entitlement and you know the, the the very things that people who clearly don't get it, and it's really it's almost like it's a gift to them. Like if you don't get it, you are sitting here, one of the seventy five thousand golden ticket holders, and instead of enjoying the chocolate treats that are going to change who you are forever, you're etching your name and, and destroying the machinery of the factory? You're missing the point. Okay, um, again, uh, it's getting a little chilly. I, I was gonna jump in the water. Wow, I just caught my reflection. I should have. I'm not having a good hair day. Um, look at the water. I've heard it's 77 degrees, so maybe I can still jump in. You think I can still jump in the water? I'm gonna go jump in the water. Yes, I'm gonna jump in the water. Decompression and integration starting tomorrow, Sunday, 4 p.m. Pacific is gonna be the first live call. I'm gonna do another Q&A follow-up Monday night at six, if you can't make the Sunday call, but you can watch the video at some point and participate live uh, at Q&A. Monday night, we're gonna have some assignments, we're gonna have daily visual check-ins. Uh, I'm gonna ask for what you're going through, I'm gonna ask for your things that work for you, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna ask for you to, to be you in the world, because it's what we need. I'm also gonna ask you to commit and pay for it, because I know from experience that it matters. So if you're ready to commit, it's a little, I mean, actually, I, I don't know what your means are. Maybe, maybe it's a huge effort for you. If, 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 if there's no possible way that you can afford $97 dollars then you want to find a way to, to, uh, uh, to get an energetic exchange in some way with me, help out with the course or body work or uh, personal assistant work or something like that, I'm happy to do that. But I do need an energetic investment. Financially is the easiest way to do that on scale. So that's why we're doing it that way. So looking forward to joining together. See you tomorrow. I love you. I said that weird. Although I meant it here, I said it weird. So I'm gonna say it sincerely. I love you. Good night.